Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you here. Good morning, good morning to you. Who else used to have to sing that in primary school like every day? I'm sure we had to sing it. So if you're watching this, um, did we have to do it? I'm sure we did. Like every morning in school we had to say, we had to go, Good morning, Mrs. Hollingsworth. Good morning, everyone. Like robots. Um, and sometimes like on a Friday we have to sing it. Good morning, good morning. Anyway, um, morning. It is Wednesday? I, have, I forgot which day it is. One second. That's actually really bad. Yeah, it's Wednesday. I knew I was right. I'm never wrong. Um, it's Wednesday and I am off to Brighton to go and see my sister Zoe. We've got, we've got a little catch up and a bit of work to do together. We're working on something this year. I wonder what it could be. Uh, we're working on something together this year, which hopefully will be out at the end of the year. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I'm going down to hers uh, in a bit to go and hang out with her, see what she's up to and see what she's saying. But first of all, I can't be the smelly brother, so I need to get in the shower and get my life together, basically. <laughs> For anyone that asks me, Joe, what is it that you put in your hair to make it the way it is? Uh, one of the main ingredients to having a good head of hair is this. Label M Sea Salt Spray. I feel like I've already showed you this in a vlog, I can't remember. But either way, I'm showing you it again. This stuff is still my favourite thing to put in my hair after a shower. Then you blow dry it and then it just makes it. Because I have quite like, I have a lot of hair, but it's just quite thin. Um, I do definitely do not have thick hair. And this makes it just feel a bit more thicker. Oh... Uh... <laughs> There's so much, right? Thing is, that looks complicated enough, right? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not bad at flat pack stuff. I can do it. Um, but, but reading through these instructions, they're so complicated. And look, look at all that. 100% gonna lose most of that. Like, all these little things here, I'm gonna lose all of them. I just know I am. So, um, I've got the stuff out the box, which is a start, but it's, oh, it's gonna be difficult. But I can't, I haven't got time to think about that now. It's time to leave. So I'm on the train and um, it turned out that to get a single to Brighton was like about £24, I think. And so to get two singles would have come to £48. And it was £45 for a first class ticket. So I was like, well, why not a first class return as well? So we're like, well, we might as well just go for the first class return. So we did the first class return. And turns out, like, this is for, like, this door here, this, these two tables are first class. So what happens if, like, everyone bought a first class ticket? Oh no, wait, sorry, it's not just these two. You also get these two little extra, extra <laughs> secret chairs down here, look. <laughs> and then obviously that's where the train driver lives. How is that? It's the smallest little area. I've got this card game called uh, King's Cup or Ring of Fire. I think if you're from the UK, you call it Ring of Fire. If you're from America, you call it King's Cup. So it's, it's multicultural, which is great. Um, but what happens is you take, you have a, normally have a cup in the middle, and if you get a king, you pour some alcohol into that, mid, that middle cup. And whoever gets the fourth king, um, has to drink whatever's in the cup, so it could be a mixture of anything and everything. Um, for example, if I pick up this card here, it says, make a rule. This will last the entirety of the game. Players must try to catch their fellows out. Failure to comply to the designated rule means you drink. So you've got to make a rule, and then everyone's got to try and so, for example, I could say, you're not at a point. So, I, so instead of pointing, like, like this, you have to point someone, instead you use your elbow. Like that. That's a rule that I'd normally make. Or you can't say like first names. You've got to always talk talk to people using their surnames. But anyway, that's the sort of game. If you want to see me play something like this on my channel with uh, the boys, then let me know. It could be quite interesting. Oh no, wait. I'm wrong. There is a massive difference between normal class and first class. Our carpet's a little bit nicer. <laughs> like, listen, it's been hoovered a little bit more. That carpet doesn't look as nice. Right. We are now approaching. That's a nice carpet. Brighton. And you also get um, a little bit a little bit of cloth. Right, which is what I haven't seen one of these since like my nan has them on her chairs at home, not from Southern um, Southern Rail, but just like you can see the seats down there. They don't have it. See, absolute balling. I just realised I got my passport on me still. Um, I don't really think you need to go to Brighton, but you never know. They're a bit crazy down there. They they have their their own special laws and ways. Or oh, we get to press the magic first class button. Do you want to do it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get okay, let you do the honours. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I'm so proud of you. First things first, whenever I come to Brighton to see my sister, I always go to the pasty shop of Cornwall to get a pasty. I bloody love pasties. This is a multi-purpose pasty because one, it's going to fill me up and two, it's keeping my hand warm. It's still always quite cold in Brighton. Taxis. 
Hi Zoe! Hi Joe! I bought your pants. Oh, well, oh, no. What? Oh no, that's right, it's still broken. Hello, Nala! Oh my god, you called her Nala! Uh, Alan, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you a, a gift. Thanks. But it's not, can you just warm it up for me? No, actually, what Joe did do was just turn up with a pasty and not ask anyone else if they wanted a pasty. <laughs> I it's did. Already warm. I forgot to. Oh, yeah, I should have, I should have. I don't do you realize. know what this reminds me of? Got him, got him. I've caught one. I've caught a pug. It's mine. Yeah, it's mine. Stop calling her a he. I didn't say that, did I? It's a cheat. <laughs> this is his foot. His. See, you can't. I said, this is it. the funniest dog. <laughs> Go on. You don't want to bite it, do you? You're scared her. We having a good tug of war earlier on. Now, as soon as I get my camera out, you decide you don't want to play anymore. No. Is he being mean to you? I'm not. I'm not being mean. I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. Um, yeah. Cool. Nice one. Good meeting. Good meeting, team. Good meeting, team. Oh. Uh -oh. It's hard to high five when you can't see. The next direct train is at 5.58. Oh. 5.58? Should we get Captain? You're so close to her. You're going to scare her. Does anyone have Captain? You are. So, it's been a, a very, very quick trip. But yeah, I I've haven't got... really caught up with you at all. No, we've come, <laughs> I've come here all the way for one meeting and now I've got to go again. I'm going back to London. The reason I've got to go back is because my uh, the other part of my sofa's coming tomorrow morning. They didn't deliver all my sofa, they just delivered like half of it. It's like a teaser, like, here's half. The other half's coming next week. Cheers. Can you come and stay with me soon, please? Yes, and I think I will. Casper like wants proper... to come and stay as well. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, proper, yeah, okay, I will do, I will do. But anyway, see you later. See, see you later. All the best. Nice to Bye. see you. All the best. Bye, Alan. Nope, okay, maybe. Just don't. Yeah, no, maybe next time. Get oh, all this can't, secret we can't, stuff in! We can't show all this stuff. Blurs, blurs. I've heard of Mind the Gap, but oh my word. Before done that, you've lost a leg. That was so odd. There was just like random snails just climbing up that wall. I don't know why, but I just, you know, got, you guys know that I really like snails. So I felt like I had to film, I had to film it. But anyway, I need a wee, so um, bye. Um, something's happened today and I, I, I don't quite know how to feel about it. Um, some things just in my eyes shouldn't change and should always stay the way they are if they can do. And I know things have got to adapt and change with the times. I don't know how I feel about this change. Something's changed today and it's, it's really sort of affected me in a weird way. I guess it's kind of like part of what I do, but I just want I just kind of want, I just want your opinion. What what do you think of this? Oh. Hello. How do you feel about that? This is Instagram's new um, app logo. I don't I I think the thing is right, I'm always someone who struggles with change, right? I don't like things changing. And um, this is one of those things where I just, it just now just seems too much like, I think Instagram to me really stood out compared to a lot of other apps that you see right now on my phone. I feel like it's followed suit a little bit with the other competitor apps and gone quite basic and futuristic -y kind of just simple. Whereas I loved the old Instagram, I loved the old Instagram logo because it was so different. It looked like an old school camera, which essentially is what it was supposed to be when it came out when they bought the first filters. It was all about putting old school filters on new pictures, combining the old and the new, uh, which is what people love. That's why it appealed to such a big market, I think. That's why it appealed to all people, because people of all ages who loved old school photographs, they loved it. And I don't know, I was, I'm not a massive fan. I mean, I love Instagram, but I just think, I think it's, it's gonna have to grow, it's gonna have to grow on me. Very, very slowly it's gonna have to grow on me. But anyway, I'm hungry, so let's sort some food out for Joseph. I've been building up to this for a long, long time. <sighs> it's finally time to, to conquer my fears, to face my fears, and try and get this done. It's just you and me, bedside cabinet, and the aircon remote, and the hairdryer, but no, actually not you, the aircon remote, just the hairdryer. I don't think I'll probably need that, but anyway, let's do this. Okay, first things first, I've separated everything out into its own individual pile. It makes things 10 times easier to know that everything's in its own little individual pile. The only thing is, like, it's like, you need 30 centimeter screw, 30 millimeter screws, and 15 millimeter screws, and doll screw, and all these different, different types of screws. Screw this, um, sorry about the pun, but screw this, this is complicated. 
But anyway, I think I made it a little bit simpler by doing it like this. Um, so now let's go to our very, very easy to use hand guide. See how much to know which plank of wood's which plank of wood? That's the hard bit. Because they've got numbers on them, but in real life they don't have numbers on, do they? Or do they? Do you have a number on you? No. Why do they do that? How do I know what number, how am I supposed to guess what that is? Okay, actually, yeah, that's, that's obviously the top bit, isn't it? Because it's got, it's where, uh, I'm confused. This is going to sound proper lame, but already I'm enjoying this so much. I could have been really lazy, like, oh, do you know what, I CBA, I'll either get my dad to do it or pay someone to come and do it. Um, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would rather get someone to pay to come and do it, but I actually find this really therapeutic. I prefer this to cooking. Um, these, by the way, are called camelocks, which are my new favourite thing. What they do is you put them in the wood, and then at some point I'm going to put a screwdriver in there and twist it, and it's going to actually bring the wood, it tightens the wood together and makes it just neat. I think it's such a great invention. I'm, I'm being weird, but I love camelocks. It's my new favourite thing, camelocks. Oh, I've had a little mare. I'm doing so well, right? I've got the, the metal bits on and everything, but I've got, there's something that's really bugging me. I don't know if it's like, it should be annoying me or not, but it's bugging me a lot. So on here, it says the screw eye goes into that little hole there, which is a circular hole, and there's an oblong hole before it, right? Before it, to the right of it. Okay, so I'm looking on here. The circular hole is before the oblong hole on here. So do I put the screw? It's telling me to put it in the top, is the, the highest bit, which is this bit here. But the screw fits this hole a lot better. And I'm worried about, everyone knows that you shouldn't drill screws in too close to the edge of wood because it will make it split. So do I put, do I go with my instinct and put it in here and think the, the, the guide is wrong? Or do I put it in here and um, just hope for the best? Because that's what it says in the book. But in the book, it's a circle at the top. But in real life, it's not. So what do I do? It's like, it's, turn, it's sending me such mix, mixed signals. I'm going to have to FaceTime my dad. Look at this! It's all starting to come together, and I'm listening to vintage, my vintage old school players on Spotify, um, which at the moment is Tattoo. Do you remember this Tattoo? All the things she said. What a classic. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below to my Spotify profile where you can find this playlist because it's absolutely amazing. If you were born in the 90s, you will love this playlist. Okay, now the scary bit. I've got a hammer. Ne I've got to use nails and a hammer. This is where I break my freaking fingers. Right, Mr. Hammer, it's me and you. Against this, we got this. Be careful. Right, here we go. That's one cabinet done. And I've just made the drawer as well. And now it's the, the best bit, peeling off his protective film. Oh my God, that is satisfying. So when you get a new phone and you peel that thing off the screen. Oh, yes. Oh, but it's stuck. Oh, sh I'm doing the foot technique again, look. I use my feet more than my hands a lot of the time. There we go, first drawer is in. Finally, there we have it. The drawers have been made. Um, I haven't put the uh, handles on yet, the handles are in there. I haven't put them on yet, only because I need a drill to do it, and I haven't got a drill. And my hands are knackered from constantly screwing with a screwdriver, so... Yes! I'm very, very happy. It looks great. A uh, slight problem, though. I think... Number one... I think the sockets are a bit too high. The sockets are higher than the, the top of the, the, the bedside cabinet, look. I don't know if that's right or not. I think I might have to get some to come in and lower the switches, just a little bit, just so you can't see them. And number two, that's one of two. There's another one to get through right now, and the time is 10 past 11. I've just messaged my dad, asking him what he thinks about those plug sockets, and he says, the sockets are at health and safety regulation height, believe it or not. So technically, health and safety wise, you have to have, legally have to have the light switches that high up. There's gotta be a way I can sort of disguise it or hide it or something. I'm not sure how, but there's got to be a way. But anyway, enough of that. Round two. Let's go. You ready, water? Yeah, he's ready. It is done. Finished. Finito. Uh, messy bed, but I now have two bedside cabinets. Holy mother of Mary. That second one didn't take me as long, but I'm so glad it's done. I'm still really annoyed about these plug sockets, but I'm going to have to, you know, just ignore it. I feel like it kind of blends with the bed well. It matches the bed. The colours sort of go. 
Maybe with this wood here, maybe not so much, but with the bed, I think it matches okay. Until next time, Hammer, I'm gonna put you back in your bed, but you've been brilliant. I love you. Night, night. Sleep tight. Oh, nice cabinet. 20, 25 past one in the morning, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to see Zoe today, even though it was for um, only a short while and we were talking about like secret stuff. Went down to go and see my sister in Brighton because we are working on something together. We've been, do we've been, we've been trying to work on stuff um, since like we've both kind of started YouTube, I guess. But this, the stuff we're working on now is finally starting to properly come together. And the, the secret projects that we were working on last year um, didn't quite work out. And then looking back on it, I'm kind of glad they didn't work out because compared to what we're working on now, uh, this is like next level stuff compared to what we were going to release last year, if that makes sense. This is both Zoe and I are very, very excited because we don't, we don't actually work with each other that often. Like, we record videos, we film videos together like every now and then, but we've never actually properly like worked on something together. So this is very, very exciting for me, um, as you can tell, working with Zoella. She's, she's huge. It's both something that we've been meaning to sort of work on for a long time and so we are both very, very excited to share it with you in, I can't tell you when, but hopefully it's this year. It will be this year. I'm gonna say that it will be this year, definitely this year. And sooner this year than you think, hopefully. Um, I hope you're excited for it too. Leave in the comments below what you think is gonna be. Um, I think you will be quite surprised. It might not be the most obvious thing you're thinking of. That's all I'm gonna say. Or it might be, it might not be. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I think I'm confusing myself. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Um, it's completely free, and it lets you know when I upload new videos all the time. So it's the easier way. And then you can go, notification squad, um, which is all the rage nowadays on, on YouTube. So, <laughs> I'm not a daily vlogger. I'm, a, I'm actually not. Like, don't expect this much, for much longer. <laughs> See ya. Bye.